Uh, I don't know what he's telling you, but it's not true. <sighs> All right, Jonathan. <clears throat> 113, 114, 115, 116, 117. Not bad. And of course. What, I can't have candy now? I got a real sweet tooth. Dentist is saying that I got six cavities. One here, one here, one here. Maybe a root canal over here. To be honest, I don't know what's going on in that side of my mouth. And what about the money, Jonathan? Can you explain that? I get a big allowance. What can I say? I know you're selling candy. We're jumping to conclusions now? Well, I'm keeping it. What? Yeah, the money, the candy, everything. I'm keeping it. I can't let this school fall into chaos. You can't do that. Ah, Danny What's up, Vince? You all right? Hey, Vince. If I see you in the halls on that scooter again, I'm taking it. My bad, I forgot about the rules and regulations and whatnot. Prefect, man. You good? My detention? Nah, but I took the money and the candy. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, well, you know, it's not much. In the grand scheme. Grand scheme? Yeah, you know, like... I mean, no, that's not what I heard. I thought that... Oh, let's go, let's go oh, really? It sounds really awesome. I oh, really no want to check it out. Oh, yeah, no, no. Yeah. How's your family? Yeah, you well, it's heard so that. awesome. We should I mean, definitely no, that's not what out. I heard. I thought it's that... Great. <laughs> way to make an amount of money that really gets someone to notice you. Tell me, Vince, what can I sell that every student on this campus would need? My name is Johnny Veal. I'm a 17-year-old junior in high school, and while not the best student, I'm a great problem solver. My most recent problem was money. So yes, I sold candy, the type of on-campus solicitation not very well looked upon by the dean and his prefects. The money was okay, nothing to get excited about. Now what I'm about to tell my good friend Vince here, he's not gonna like. But if anyone could pull off what I had planned, it was me. What's up with the jacket, dude? Come on, you got all this money now. Get it, get a nice jacket or something. Come on, what's up? I like this jacket. I've had it since the beginning. It's like one of those, you know, character traits. It, it defines me. Hey, Lana, I, I, how are you? Thanks for meeting up with me. I'm good, how are you, I'm, Johnny? I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, I've just kind of been looking forward to it and all. Um, I had some seniors go off campus and get us burgers from the Big Kahuna Burger. Your friend Michelle told me you like grilled onions, so it should be just the way you like it. Thanks, Johnny. Now listen, I know this isn't like a date or anything, but I think you're very special. So your time is very special. So I figured when you're with me, you should have a very special time. Thanks, Johnny. That's, that's really sweet of you. Oh yeah, no problem. Anytime. Now listen, I heard you at one of the exchange tables last week. Is is that right? What I heard. I mean, that was that was just one time. I don't usually. Go. No, no, no need to explain. You're like a straight A student, right? Listen, if you ever need homework, you can come straight to me. Thanks, Johnny. I really appreciate it. No, I... I don't know how you stay so... organized. Oh, well, you know, it's just a matter of knowing who's good at what and how to talk to people. Other than that, it's not so hard. So... So how do you do it? Nah, I, I couldn't I couldn't get into all that. There's a lot of people involved, a lot of names. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't. Okay, well it is kind of interesting. I took all the money I'd saved from selling candy and invested it into buying homework, specifically the nerds. Since teachers want to give the essays and the packets for the weekends, I've got to get the eggheads to do their quality work and give it to me. Listen, this is really the point. You're tired of getting picked on. You're tired of being taken advantage of to 
sell your homework to me, and I'll put you on top of the freaking pyramid. Alright? Of course, every now and then, one of them would get scared, grow conscious, and try to stiff me. So I'd pay a job to do this. Hey, Homework. Where's the homework? Never anything serious. The stuff I get from them on Monday is what I call premium. The premiums I bargain to people who decided to blow off their weekends and are freaking out. I kick a premium out for about $10. $10? Come on, Johnny, are you serious? Yes, it's like a 10 page pack. You had two weeks to do it. I don't know what you think this is. $10? How do I even know if it's right? I got really smart people to do it. It's all right. Okay, but how do I know that? You're just gonna have to trust me. <laughs> yeah, right. Nope, you're gonna have to think of something okay, else. Okay, okay, um, okay, how about we do this? Or an exchange of service. I may give a kid around two days of two periods worth of midweek homework, you know, like worksheets and whatnot. I copy it myself and kick those out for anywhere between two to five dollars, or for assignments in different periods. Okay, yeah, but that might be mine. But see, here's the thing. The beautiful part about it her. is total deniability. If I get homework from, say, Rob, what? who doesn't at all talk to Cynthia, so if he gets questioned as to why their homework looks the same, he has no idea why and neither does she. The only link between them was me. It looks like a circus to me. That's all I'm saying. Which I very quickly eliminated as soon as I started making really, really good money. Enter the guys, my inner circle. There was Terry, senior, handled the money. Ralphie, quick talker, could make a deal in a minute. Vince, who I brought on as my protege because of his carefulness and level head. And Leo, the nicest kid in school. All right, Vince, Timothy owes me five and six. Get that from him. Ralphie, this is periods three and four. Give this to Diana. From who? I'm asking from who, you know that. Hey, Leo, did the chat ever pay up? But every now and then, Whoa. I get involved. Listen, Jeff, you owe us money. Everyone here knows you owe us money. You got no case if you rat. Just pay up. And if I don't, then what? Huh? Gonna get the, the two monkeys on the sophomore to beat me up, huh? What you gonna do? getting out of hand. I had more money but more homework than I knew what to do with. So I set up the exchange. If you put in the effort to get to school a little early, you could pay to get in at a table where all the weeks and days assignments were in one spot. It was crazy. No one wanted to be there longer than they had to, so grabby hands were everywhere. I have tables set up all over school where I'm making a quarter for every problem solved and a dime for every word copied. On Friday, I use my earnings to pay the nurse for the weekends and wait for Monday when people are willing to pay me through the nose for the premiums. While school as a whole has seen a stupendous overall improvement in attendance, in GPA, and in test scores, and just in the last semester and a half, there has been one young man whose progress should be celebrated. His GPA has shot from a 2.9 to a 3.8 just in the last semester and a half. I'd like to take this time to commemorate that student in the award for most improved with no signs of stopping. I want you to give a big round of applause for Jonathan Veal. Let him know it. enough. College. What? I'm putting all my earnings towards college. It's looking like a real possibility now that I'm getting the best grades I've ever gotten in my life. Johnny, I'm so sorry. I got caught. 
I mean, like, I was looking at a 10-day suspension, but they said if I, if I agreed to put on a wire, then I'd be only looking at detention. <laughs> really, Lana? A wire? Really? That... No, Donnie, just, just Got listen to me. me. No, Donnie, I'm serious, just listen to me. You know what? If you don't want to meet up with me, that's fine. That's a really messed up way to say you want nothing to do with me. Here's what's gonna happen, Jonathan. You're going to give me the names of everyone you've been working with. Everyone you've been selling homework to, everyone you have selling homework for you, and everyone you've been buying homework from. Do you understand? <laughs> no, you know what? I don't understand. This makes no sense to me. I'm sure whatever you think you have on me is not gonna stick. I mean, come on, a why this is high school, why this makes no sense to me. I mean, what is this, some sort of Martin Scorsese crime film parody? Jonathan, shut up, okay? This is serious. You're facing expulsion. But, as we understand, you're working with a lot of people. So, if you give us the names of these people, we can bring this punishment down to a suspension. We can save the school a lot of embarrassment, and we can all move on with our lives. Or, you're out, and I wire up one of our best students to get the job done. The choice is yours. I'll let you two talk it over. I'm sorry, I It's I never... okay, we both could have been a little bit more careful. I'm gonna take the deal. I'm not gonna let him make you do that. Hey, look, Johnny, you're really creative. And what you did there, just to get some cash, uprooted the entire school. And I know it seems like money is all you have to rely on, but if you just spent a little bit more time in your studies, your grades could get you into college. Yeah, I mean, maybe you're right. And since it seems like we'll be spending a lot of time together in detention, I'd be happy to be your tutor. I had always solved my own problems. I prided myself on that. But with everything crashing down, and her with her hands still out to me, I figured Maybe it was time to take a little advice. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Eh, wrong. And let me tell you why. They got everybody. I mean, the list I gave them had to be at least 95% of the school. Because everyone cheats. The teenage brain isn't meant to get homework from six different periods on a daily basis. And if you think we're gonna risk our futures over a couple of worksheets we didn't feel like doing, then you got another thing coming. Here's a bunch of jokes again. How much are your words? 20, 50, 100. Come on, name your price, man. Go. All right. Let's <laughs> So after school, the place became Rikers. The whole school was in detention. I mean, they were filling up two floors full of kids, and that's when they had people serving time every other day. As for Lana and I, nothing. Not only did they put us in different classrooms, they put me in a different building. My system was dismantled. I was burned by the girl of my dreams, and the life of the Don was truly over.
But I'll tell you one thing. I ain't ever going back to small time. Yeah.